Okay, so the biggest highlight of MIUI 12 is the super wallpapers. See, MIUI 12 brings wallpapers inspired from Mars and Earth, and well, as you can see, they look really grand and pretty awesome. I mean, here's how it looks when you unlock a MIUI 12 phone with the Mars wallpaper. Now take a look at the Earth wallpaper. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Plus, it's not just while unlocking, these wallpapers look cool even when you're just scrolling between the pages. Now coming to the actual UI changes, MIUI 12 builds on the UI refinements MIUI 11 brought. And well, things are even better now, quite expectedly. MIUI 12 is even more minimal looking and I like the fact that there's better data visualization all across. Take a look at the about page, the storage page and the me account page. They all show certain data beautifully visualized. Even the settings page, the battery graph page looks more modern and you know, visual, I like it. Now helping this cool looking UI are the animations, which is my next point. Simio 12 brings better, smoother animations all across the platform. There's basically an animation for everything. For example, take a look at the quick settings page. So this is how it looks like when you turn on the different toggles. Yeah, that's nice and kind of iOS-like. Even when the Wi-Fi is connected, you get this really subtle yet nice animation. Most importantly though, the app opening and closing animations have been improved. Check this out. Yep. now take a look at an app closing in slow motion. Yeah, this is nice. And yeah, these animations remind me a little of iOS, but I like it, no problems. Anyway, there are better animations all across, as you can see, be it to uninstall apps, finishing a task in the notes app, just moving across things, opening up an event in the calendar, checking the battery stats, or even the screen rotation animation, which looks really smooth. Yep, I can't wait to feel these animations in person on a phone, especially on a higher refresh rate display like on the Mi 10 or the Poco X2. Now, one thing I did not really like about MIUI gestures is the fact that it did not support Android's native gesture of switching between apps. Well, that changes with MIUI 12. As you can see in MIUI 11, full screen gestures have this refined animation and there's a lengthy bar at the bottom so you can swipe up to go home, swipe up and hold to see recent app screen and flick left or right to switch between apps. Now, I'm not sure if Xiaomi has kept the swipe and hold back gestures to switch between apps, but I hope they have. I've been complaining about phones getting bigger and bigger and, and well, global free window is one MIUI 12 feature that kind of makes use of that. With MIUI 12, you can run every app in small freeform windows. There are different gestures for this too. You can just swipe up and hold on an app and bring it to this icon on the top to run that app in a small window like this. You can even snap and minimize a window to the side like this. Open up a notification in a freeform window like this. Close an app and open it up in full screen. Yeah, there is a lot of gestures and they're really cool. Plus it even works when you're using the phone in landscape mode. Yeah, this should be pretty handy. MIUI's dark mode looks great with all the colors splashed over the black UI and MIUI 12 is making dark mode even better. First of all, Dark Mode 2.0 in MIUI 12 works with almost every single app out there. Secondly, it's improved. MIUI 12 is set to improve readability and reduce eye strain while using the dark mode. You'll notice automatic font weight and contrast adjustments, the text will appear brighter, and the wallpaper dimming feature will dynamically adjust the color temperature of your wallpaper. Yeah, nice. MIUI 12 brings three new privacy features on board. There's Flare, barbed wire and mask system. So taking it one by one, Flare will keep track of the behavior of all apps present on your phone and bring you a list of apps that may be you know, out of line, violating your privacy or abusing permissions. Barbed wire improves on Android's permissions manager and this will make sure that an app won't show the always allow button for the location or camera permission if the app does not specify what it requires the permission for. Third, mask system is a feature similar to Realme UIs and ColorOS 7's personal information protection feature. So the mask system will basically mask your personal info or, you know, bring a blank info when an app requires you to share it with them. Yeah, it's pretty handy. So Xiaomi's new Mi Health app is officially live with MIUI 12. With the Mi Health app, all you need is your phone with you to track your steps, workouts and more. So the app will send you sedentary reminders and will be able to monitor your sleep. Yes, it works without a fitness tracker. All you need to do is place your phone on your pillow while sleeping and yeah, it will track your sleep. I mean, it sounds a little inconvenient, but we'll see how it goes. 
Miotel also brings a whole lot of other changes like this really cool dynamic weather app which shows these really cool animations based on the weather. There's also an AI calling feature that is probably for China only, a video toolbox feature that probably will be handy for some and several other optimizations.